And now, the mystery unfolds. The humble beginnings of the legendary red-haired swordsman Adol all started here. Well, kind of. This is East, book one and two for the TurboGrafx CD, a compilation of the first two games in the prolific series of action RPGs, Ancient East Vanished and Ancient East Vanished The Final Chapter. With this repackaging that was released in 1990, these versions include enhanced graphics, new animated sequences, and CD quality audio to step things up a notch from their original releases on home computers and 8-bit consoles like the NES and Sega Master System. At first glance, East seems about the same as most other RPGs of the era like Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior, but it sets itself apart gameplay-wise by avoiding the random encounters and menu-based combat and instead using an approach similar to classic roguelike RPGs, where the enemies are visibly moving around and damage is dealt by direct contact. Approaching enemies from behind or from the side is advantageous, so the combat isn't completely mindless. Your health does regenerate in safe areas when you stand still, but you will need to take more care as you descend into dangerous dungeons and hideouts, and the bosses require completely different strategies for each. So the general premise of the game is a bit cliché by today's standards. In short, you have to seek out six books to gain the knowledge to rid the land of evil. But the game's great anime-infused presentation and moving musical score really make it feel more epic than it actually is. The East series has always kind of lurked in the shadows of the more popular franchises, but it's definitely always had its own distinct style to separate it, and it shines through quite well in this particular enhanced version. It also happened to mark the first release of East 2 that was translated into English. Are you here to rescue me? How wonderful it would be to escape these chains. I have been locked up here for too long. My name is Fina. There have also been numerous remakes of these classics for PC, PS2, Nintendo DS, and PSP, but no matter what version you play, this is certainly a charming RPG classic that will bring back some fond memories for nostalgic dungeon crawlers out there, or it could likely hook anyone new to the series as well. The game moves at a fairly brisk pace, with not a ton of time required for gaining experience, and Adol can really haul ass around the screen, cutting way down on your travel time. And once you start unraveling the story and upgrading your gear, the addiction settles in quick, and you can't help but get sucked into this epic adventure. As far as what version I recommend the most, the recent handheld editions might prove to be the most convenient for you, and they do feature the most enhancements, but this TurboGrafx version is also available on the Wii's Virtual Console if you'd rather do your dungeon crawling at home. But either way, this introduction to the Land of East is essential for the game collection of any RPG fan. 